who's ready for pumpkin spice, fall foliage, and autumn amigurumi projects. I am! Elise from the blog LePetitSaintCrochet.com and today we're going to be talking all about autumn amigurumi projects and I'm going to be sharing crocheted and knitted projects. I cannot wait to share all of these with you guys. This is a project that I shared last year. This is the cutest little plaid pumpkin from Meg Made with Love. I will leave a link for it in the description box below but I also want to share with you guys an update about the three little pigs in the big bad wolf pattern that I will be publishing very soon you guys have been so patient with me if you've been here before you've seen that I've got the three little pigs but I've also got the little wolf now he of course is completely naked but he will have a proper set of clothing as all wolves should and I want it to be perfect for you guys so I'm working really hard to get that done and I think pigs and wolves are perfect for fall but we're going to go ahead and jump right in I cannot wait to share all of these amazing projects with you guys and as always you're you're gonna find links for everything that I talk about, all of these amazing patterns in the description box below. So I'm going to start with the crocheted projects first and then we'll move to the knitted projects and I will leave timestamps in the description box below in case you're only interested in the crochet patterns or if you're more interested in the knitted patterns. But the first one we're going to talk about is the Cozy Crochet Pumpkins from Maria's Blue Crayon. I love Maria. She is such an amazing crochet designer and these little pumpkins are perfect. One of the things that's really unique about them is that they are crocheted with a very textured fuzzy yarn. Maria has a great tutorial in the blog post where she has the free pattern and it actually goes through how to do the stitch that she uses for this particular pattern which I think is really really wonderful because that really textured fuzzy yarn can sometimes be a little tricky to use but she's got you covered. She shows you exactly how to do it and then she has the little stem with the twine wrapped around them. They look very rustic but I love that she's doing them in unusual colors. I tend to get into that box where fall things need to be in those traditional fall colors like oranges, browns, cream colors, greens, reds, that's another fall color. But Maria's pumpkins are white and teal. So make sure to check out this pattern because it is absolutely adorable and it's a free pattern. So the next pattern is the Crochet Pumpkin Little Folk House. Oh my gosh, how cute is this pattern? When I was scrolling through looking for all of these adorable patterns. This one jumped out at me and I could not get over how cute this pattern is. This pattern is by Crochet Cute Animals and I found this one on Etsy. It is absolutely stunning. I am so impressed with this pattern and the inspiration and the creativity that went into this. One of the things that I love is that you have the little pumpkin house and it's made with a textured yarn and then you have all of these beautiful fall leaves that decorate the top of it. I think this is one of the best examples for why amigurumi is absolutely one of the most amazing hobbies that you can have because this type of creativity is so unique. She has great reviews on her Etsy shop and it looks like the pattern is very well written. So I'm so excited to share this one with you guys and I think you're gonna like it as much as I do. So the next pattern is the Autumn Crochet Gnome Set by Pam Pinnastor. I thought that these were so adorable and I love that they're a set of all of the different autumn themed gnomes. So you have an acorn, a pine cone, a general fall gnome, and a mushroom. I think gnomes are so adorable and I could just see these as autumn decoration around the house. They're very whimsical and I love anything that makes you feel like it's a fairy tale from a long time ago and I think these are so cute and I bet you guys are going to love them as much as I do. The next autumn inspired amigurumi pattern is the candy corn family by yours truly. This pattern is perfect for those of you who are are beginners and brand new to amigurumi. I have the free pattern on my website as well as a full video tutorial here on YouTube and you'll find the links for that in the description box below. The dad is Christopher Korn and he loves golfing and DIY projects and he wears his little glasses. You will also find Candace Korn but everybody calls her Candy Corn. She loves to bake and she is very well known for her Boston cream pies. And then we have little Caroline Korn. She's the baby candy corn 
unicorn of the family. She spends her days giggling and blowing raspberries. These work up super quick. They're really fun and they're great stash busters. So this next pattern is by Toy Fox Store. This crochet pumpkin coffee mug and creepy cute pumpkin amigurumi cake is so adorable. I've tried to keep this collection of patterns more fall themed and less Halloween themed because I'm planning on doing a full Halloween amigurumi video in the very near future, but I wanted to share this one because I think it is so cute and you could make it look more fall or you could make it look more Halloween, which I think this one is so, so much fun. I love this sweet little pumpkin mug that looks like something that you would want to drink your coffee out of in the cool crisp mornings of October and November but then you see the little spider web on it and the little spider dangling down the side that is so adorable. Then you have the little pumpkin pie and I think this is really cute that she used a safety eye and made it look very creepy but it's really really fun. One of the great things is that she has a video tutorial for one of the unique stitches that she uses in her pattern. Pattern. And I think that's so wonderful when designers kind of give you a little help when they have something that may be a little bit different. So you'll find a link for this pattern and the video in the description box below. So now we are on to our knitted patterns and I cannot wait to share all of these with you guys. And the first one is the Wrong Side Knit Pumpkin by Brittany Hatcher. When I was doing my research and I came across this one on Pinterest, I really was intrigued because it is a very simple pumpkin, but it is really cute. This is a free pattern on her blog and she has a little story about how this pumpkin came about and it was a total happy mistake. I love when someone has a mistake and then they turn it into something amazing amazing and wonderful. This pumpkin lives up to its name and it's actually the wrong side. When you're knitting, you have the right side and the wrong side, just like with crochet. And when she was making the pumpkin up, she was distracted by watching Outlander and she put the wrong side as the outside of the pumpkin. But you know what? She thought this looks actually pretty good. And I love that deep, rich orange color that she's using. And you will find a link for this pattern in the description box below. The next pattern is the Knitted Oak Leaves by Elves World. I came across these beautiful knitted oak leaves and they just took my breath away. I thought they were so beautiful and I love that she's using this variegated yarn to really give a lot of depth to these beautiful leaves. I can see them strung up as a garland on a mantle or across a sunny window and you could also use them to make a beautiful autumn wreath. I just think they're so beautiful. She has a lot of other patterns for knitted leaves. I'm a big fan of leaves and I just think they're so beautiful. I am particularly love these because I love all things fall and we have a lot of oak trees here in North Carolina. She's perfectly captured the changing colors of those leaves. We're not at peak season yet. We're just starting to get hints of the leaves changing here and I cannot wait because our fall here in North Carolina is really spectacular. I really wanna make this pattern. It's really, really gorgeous. The next pattern is the acorn by Kim Hamlin. And I love this big giant knitted acorn. How cool is that? I love the photo of someone holding that huge acorn in their hands. It's so cute. I love that this is simple, but it is totally fall. And I think these would be beautiful as your autumn decorations around your home. They would be perfect for us Americans to decorate our Thanksgiving tables with. And I even think kids would love to play with these because they're just so soft and squishy and they just look beautiful. I also love projects that you can use up some of the yarn that you may already have laying around. And although this is a bigger project, I think you could probably use it as a stash buster and you could make them in additional colors and you could get really creative with this one. But I wanted to include it because I think you guys are going to love it too. The next pattern is the Backyard Squirrel by Sarah Elizabeth Kellner. I just love this beautiful pattern. It looks exactly like the type of squirrels we have here in North Carolina, the kind that all of my cat right here loves to watch out the window. I always ask designers if they would allow me to share their photos and links to their patterns before I publish a video or a blog post. And when I reached out to Sarah, she also wanted me to let you guys know that she has a book of her patterns coming out in fall of 20. 
2022. So we have a whole nother year, but this pattern for the squirrel will be included in it as well as 20 additional brand new patterns that she hasn't released before. So I thought that was really wonderful. I just think that this squirrel is just the absolute most perfect addition to any kind of fall decor in your home. I love squirrel decorations and I use them in my home during the fall. And I also think this would be such a cute little toy for a child who loves squirrels. I just love how realistic this one looks. When I think about fall, I'm always reminded of when my kids were little and we used to go to pumpkin patches and corn mazes and they were always at these really fun, cute little farms. And that's why I chose the Farm Friends Collection by Esther Joy Knits. I love these little patterns. I think they are so very cute. I used to have a little farm toy when I was a kid. It was the little Fisher Price barn and it had all the little animals. And when you open the door, the little cow mood and I just loved it. And this gives me that nostalgic feeling and I think these would be so much fun for kids to have a little farm set to play with. And I also think that they're just cute decorations to have just for this time of year. So this is a pattern set, but you can also buy these patterns individually. And if you don't know Esther Joy Knits, you really need to check out this designer. She makes some of the most beautiful knitted toys. I love their little designs. They almost look like little peg dolls and they're just so, so, so cute. And they have so much personality. It comes with a farm farmer, a pig, a duck, a chicken, a lamb, a cow, and a horse. I just think they're so cute. Oh my goodness. So you'll find a link to that pattern set in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed all of these autumn amigurumi patterns, the crocheted ones and the knit ones. And I would love to know which one is your favorite because I can't choose a favorite. I love them all. I think they're so amazing. And as much as I wish it was fall outside right now, it really isn't. It's still hot. It's still humid here in North Carolina, but I'm wearing my fall clothes anyway. And I'm probably going to be very sweaty here in just a little while because I have to go out and run errands. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and also hit that bell notification to know when I publish a new video, which is usually sometime around Friday or Saturday. Sometimes it's Sunday. I publish it when I can because sometimes I'm a hot mess. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode today. I hope that you're getting ready for all the fall things and maybe it's a little bit cooler in the mornings where you are. But as always, stay safe out there and happy stitching.